I'm Stacia Martin and we're here to celebrate Walt Disney World and its golden anniversary. As a Disney artist and historian, I have the great pleasure of working with the classic Disney characters. And one of the characters that I'm going to be working with today is actually the star of both a classic film and a new film. And that, of course, is Pinocchio. He's here as part of the Fab 50 character collection celebrating Walt Disney World and its 50th, but he's also going to be seen in a new retelling of the classic tale. Now, of course, we all know Pinocchio from his original Disney incarnation as the star of the 1940 animated classic, but don't you wonder sometimes why Walt Disney chose Pinocchio to be his second animated feature film. It first came out in 1940. Well, he did so for a couple of reasons. First of all, because the story of Pinocchio is very different from the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, which was his first feature just a few years earlier. But also because Pinocchio, as an adventure story, is just full of opportunity. The original story, written in the 1880s, was by an author named Carlo Lorenzini, who actually wrote under the name Carlo Collati. But this was not a book originally. It was a serialized adventure in a magazine and so every time you'd get your issue of the magazine there'd be a new installment of the story of Pinocchio and of course that made it very exciting for readers because they would find all the new adventures of Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket and the Blue Fairy and all of the characters they'd grown to love through the years every week right in their home but it also was very good for the author because every week there would be a new adventure and therefore he would get another installment of payment from the magazine so Mr. Lorenzini kept that story going for a very long time. Therefore, there's lots of material to draw from, some of which was of course used in the original animated film, and so many new opportunities which will be seen as well in the upcoming live action retelling of this classic story. Of course, we had voices, wonderful actors doing the voices of the stars in 1940, but for the first time you'll get to see them on the screen, including Pinocchio's Papa Geppetto. Geppetto, of course, is the woodcarver who creates Pinocchio and names him Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Do you know why? Because the Italian word for pine, like pine the wood and pine the tree, is actually pino. And we know this also because the Blue Fairy says, little puppet made of pine, wake, the gift of life is thine. So if you didn't know what Pinocchio's type of wood was, now you know it's actually pine. But when we have the opportunity to meet Papa Geppetto now in live action, he will be played by Tom Hanks, who's not only everyone's choice for America's dad, as they say, but also a wonderful choice for Pinocchio's dad. And I'm sure you all know the great theme song, When You Wish Upon a Star. That was originally written for Pinocchio in 1940 and won the Academy Award, Disney's first, for Best Song of the Year. And Alan Silvestri, who's going to be providing the music score for this new retelling of Pinocchio, I'm sure has some marvelous musical magic up his sleeve to bring even more excitement through music to this telling of the motion picture. So for right now, we're going to say welcome Pinocchio to our golden anniversary at Walt Disney World. Well, we're so happy to welcome Pinocchio back to screens. And in fact, this time it's going to be the screen in your very own home as you can enjoy the new retelling on Disney+. Plus.